Hello, it's Alex. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. This is a kind of true Friday Sews video, as in it's a bit of a catch up of what I've been up to this week. I have done a little bit of sewing. I've got some fabric that I wanted to show you. And I have also begun to do my next stage of the curated closet. As in, I went and did some non-shopping. I went to try some things on following my inspiration images. So, got a few things to catch up on. Um, first off, the fabric. I have to make a confession. <clears throat> so, I have been saying recently that I really wanted to focus on some good quality plain fabrics. You know where this is going, don't you? Yep, I bought some prints. I would like to say that I felt a little enabled because a couple of people put in the comments that when I described my wardrobe as a bit boring, they said, well, maybe that's because you haven't got that much print in there. And oh my goodness me, it was like the green light went off and I said, oh, well, actually, maybe I can go and buy some print. Maybe that's a really good idea. I kind of was a little bit more thoughtful about it than that because what I have noticed is where there is print in my wardrobe it tends to be on shirts and I really like to wear shirts and I really love to sew shirts but I'm getting a little bored of the ones that I already have so that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it um Lamarzi Fabrics had a discount code over the I think it was at the weekend um, I think they'd hit a certain number of subscribers on Instagram and they had some prints that I could not resist. So I'd like to think I've been fairly mindful of this whole curated process. This one is a viscose, it has been pre-washed which is perhaps why it's a bit wrinkly. Um, I love, love, love the print on this. To me, it has a bit of a 70s vibe. It's probably the colours that make it feel 70s to me. But being that I wanted to start introducing a little bit more brown into my wardrobe, and there are two shades of brown and a sort of camely colour in there, I felt that I was justified. And most importantly, I love the print. I don't know exactly what shirt I'm going to make with it. I'm having a kind of desire to want to make something with a tie. I don't mean, you know, like a tie, like a, the sort of thing you would make into a bow. But um, I'm going to see if I can find any of the shops and try them on first before I do that. But yes, enough there to make a shirt. And then the next one, I just couldn't resist. I adore this print. It's also a viscose. Um, it's another way of me introducing black because I said I love black and haven't been wearing much recently and it is this one which hopefully I can get away if I get a little bit of white dog hair all the way around um, but yeah I think that this or this is fabulous it's so me it's unbelievable I might be getting a bit arty here but I think this is a little reminiscent of Picasso's Guernica um, but yes yeah, so I've bought three meters of it I kind of love it so much I'd like to make a dress out of it and I have an idea for that but I'll tell you that in a sec um, so yes I just wanted to confess my naughtiness so the other thing that they had on the Lamarzi website is what looked to be, now I've got my cork, um, a really nice sweat in it. They have it in a lot of different colours. It's a viscose poly blend. And one of the things that I think didn't make the edit earlier on in the week, I was wearing this shirt while I was making my coat on my last video. And that video was so long again. I had to cut a lot of stuff out but I was talking about the fact that I love this shirt um, and it is one of the an oldie but a goodie um, it's a style arc pattern can't remember what it's called but I like the fact that it has this split hem at the back which to my, my mind makes it ideal for wearing underneath a jumper 
you know it's long enough that you can still see that print and get a bit of contrast but I said at the time which you won't know that even though I have a million jumpers and I really do have lots of jumpers I haven't got a black one Dun, da, da, da. I have now so I ordered the sweater knit from Lamazi in black this is the seam work Astoria. It only takes a metre of fabric. In fact, there was a tiny bit left. Um, so it's a really nice economical pattern to make. I think the fabric was about £17 a metre, so it's not bad. Well, it's actually, it's pretty good, £17 for a jumper. Let me put it on. Okay, Posty's just been with some more fabric, so I'll open that in a sec. Anyway, Seamwork Astoria. I really like this jumper. This is a size medium and it's its true length. So it is cropped, which is what I wanted because I liked this kind of having the tails at the bottom. Um, yeah, I really like how it looks. It's super simple to make. When I made it before, I added to the length. I added about five centimetres to my blue one. Um, it does have shorten and lengthen lines, which makes that easy to do. But I think it's a great little, um, pretty easy jumper to make. Most of it is sewn on the overlocker, but you are hemming the sleeves on your sewing machine. Normally I use a twin needle, but I didn't this time. I just did a, a small zigzag and that's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it and it didn't take too long to make. It was very, very satisfying after having done, um, you know, a coat and a, and a jacket. It was nice to do a sort of quick and easy one. Mind you, the coat was quite easy too, wasn't it? Anyway, love it. So it's a viscose poly blend and it does feel super, super soft. I'm telling you that because I think lots of us are on the lookout for a sweater knit um, fabric and they seem to have quite a range of colours there. I don't yet know how it washes or whether it's likely to peel or anything like that. You know, ask me in a couple of months time. But yeah, it feels really, really nice. So I'm super pleased with that. The other thing, let's actually, before I say the other thing, I'll open this. Um, on my last video I mentioned that it was a lady called Debs who had recommended that Stasia, I can't remember her surname now, video. Uh, and we were chatting a little bit on Instagram and she sent me a message saying that she'd seen this fabric on Simply Fabrics website. I thought it might be me. I mean, I think it took me about 30 seconds to order it. It is a crepe. It is X designer, it's X Bella Freud. I ordered two and a half metres. They did get in touch with me actually to say we've only got 2.3, do you still want it? <laughs> yes. Um, so again, no idea what I'm going to make out of it, but I mean, it's green <laughs> and I love it. Yeah, anyway, um, that's going straight in the washing machine. Actually, I better check the instructions anyway so yes one thing I just quickly wanted to say because my last video was a bit of a sort of so long tutorial one um, you might have missed that I did let you know that we have got somebody that has won the serious light following my competition when I got to 10,000 subscribers now we've been in touch with each other I know that she's the winner and it's going to be winging its way to her but I don't really feel that I should, you know, invade her privacy by letting you all know who it is. So I said on the last video, and I'm going to say the same thing this time, if she wants to let you all know who she is, she can put a comment and I'll pin it to the top here and you can all see who's won it. But yeah, I think she's going to be absolutely thrilled that she has been notified and it will be on its way to her pretty soon, I'm sure. So having just mentioned them, I am gonna give a quick shout out to Sirius Lights as a sponsor of this video. I have got an amazing discount code coming. I certainly find my HD light to be an absolutely invaluable tool in my sewing room now. This week, for example, using this black sweater knit fabric, I was really struggling while I was over at my cutting table, cutting out, trying to decide which was the right side and which was the wrong side of the fabric. 
and of course then I had the brainwave just come over here and put it under the lights and it just became clear straight away. I don't think there is ever a day that I don't use this light when I'm sewing in here. I, it has really become an absolute essential part of my sewing. They are brilliant to use because they are dimmable and you can adjust the beam to make it as wide or as narrow as you like. So they're really lovely and simple to use. Really customizable as well. Mine is a floor light, but there is also a desk light option. There is a rechargeable option, which is brilliant if you want to use yours in a space where you've not got a power supply. Um, the lightweight version is great if you're moving it around at night time to be able to take it to a different chair, maybe like me or somebody that knits or crochets. Fantastic for eye strain for that kind of thing. Honestly, I really couldn't be without mine now that I've got them. The discount code is SR415 and it gives you that £100 off the cost of the HD light and the delivery within the UK. Great time of year to be thinking about something like this with Christmas on the horizon. But yes, I hope that you know me well enough to know that I don't really have sponsors unless I really believe in them, but this is quite possibly, after my sewing machine, the favorite thing I have in my sewing room. So link will be below with all the details and the discount code. Let me know if you get one and how you're finding it. So back to the curated closet. After gathering all the inspiration, there are various things in the book that you are supposed to do, but one of them is to go off into the shops and to try things on, but not buy them try things on. So I've had my first little attempt at that this week. I say first because I went to John Lewis, which for those of you who are not in the UK, it's a department store and they've got quite a lot of concessions in there. So it's quite a good place to go, but um, they didn't have everything I wanted. So I'm going to go into Manchester next week and go to my beloved Cos because what I couldn't find in John Lewis were any of the really long skirts that I was looking at on those inspiration images. Um, and I know Cos have some, so that's for next week. But this initial stage, I did find some very, some dresses with long skirts. So I chose a couple of those to try. Um, yeah, I think dresses work just as well because I'm likely to wear a jumper over them anyway. So I took some pictures in the changing rooms. There were a couple of times I thought I'd taken video and I'd clearly not pressed record. <clears throat> anyway, it's all in here for me to show you. So I'll start off with the miss. There were some hits and some misses, and this was a miss, and I'm so glad that I did this process because it was the mini skirt idea. You know, I was saying I always feel comfortable in kind of mini skirt, tights, knee length boots, jumper or shirt, whatever. Um, so I picked up a couple to try. One was a wool one from Hush and I put it on and I hated how it looked. I was the opposite of comfortable and that was just me in the changing room. Um, I mean, it looked okay actually. It was more how I felt. I just thought, no, I don't want to walk out of this changing room and anyone else to see me like this. I think those days have passed. Nothing to do with my age really, just to do with how I felt. I just didn't feel comfortable. Um, I did try, just in case it made any difference, I did try on a velvet one from Jigsaw. I thought velvet might be good because, um, you know, the thing I hadn't considered was trying different textures and I felt like the black velvet wasn't so dressy that it felt nighttimey. And I also like the fact it had a little detail on it where it has like a split, but being a mini, you don't really want a split up here. Um, but in fact, when you flipped it up, it was lined on the inside of the split. So that was interesting, but mostly because it was a no. Had I not done this, there's, I'm that far away from going and sewing a mini skirt this week. So I'm really glad. Definitely learnt a lot. 
Then I looked at the longer dresses. One was from Mint Velvet and I love it and I think it is really replicable. Yes, I can replicate it. Um, basically, it is a t-shirt with a gathered skirt. The skirt is a woven, cotton woven, and it had two nice big cargo pockets on it. There was something about it that was very me. Um, and I honestly think you could sew this so easily. Any t-shirt pattern you've got, we've all got them, haven't we? Or to be honest, just a t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt that you already have at home. And then what I plan to do is just attach, get the cotton, decide how long I want it to be, and then just use the width, whatever width the cotton comes in, and gather it and attach it to the hem of the t-shirt. Cargo pockets on the front, jobs are good. I did take a photograph of how they had attached it on the inside. It's attached to some clear elastic. I'm gonna do a little test before I do mine, but I think this is pretty easy to sew. Um, I tried to take pictures of all the prices of things as well as we went along, or as I went along. Um, and although we don't sew to save money, <laughs> um, I do actually think that the cost of clothing has really gone up. And in most cases, when I did love something, I did think, I actually think I could sew that for less, and in some cases in better fabric. Anyway, my next long dress, wasn't so much of a hit. It was also mint velvet. It was also jersey. And it had, I think it was the waistline that I liked the look of. It had an asymmetric waistline with a sort of half overskirt that was gathered at the front and some interesting style lines around the neck or at the top on the bodice. It was possibly a tiny bit tight for me at the top, but overall, just an unfathomable something about it that I didn't like. Navy's not my colour, but that's by the by. Um, oh, it wasn't a very good quality jersey. Um, but yeah, so it was interesting. And I think if I had seen that as a line drawing of a sewing pattern, I would have wanted to make that. But there was something about it that felt a bit, I don't know, wasn't for me. So again, it was kind of interesting to do. Then I went into the slip dresses. So I talked about those on my inspiration boards and I'd mentioned the All Saints kind of slip dress cropped jumper combo. And those are small All Saints concession at John Lewis. So not the biggest range, but they did have one which was in a leopard print, the dress. Leopard, not really my thing at the moment. I've fallen out of love with it. Uh, but good to see how it worked and I really, really love it that was a hit um i really like how the dress fell on me it is this one is cut on the bias and i really like how it looked combined with the cropped jumper now who do you know has just made themselves a little cropped jumper so i'd also saved on that inspiration board a picture of a slip dress again but from hush which was not cut on the bias, so on the straight grain, and they had it there. So I tried that on just to see how much do I need the bias element. I'm still concerned about getting a long dress on the bias in terms of the fabric width and the clingy element. Um, and although this one from Hush was definitely a bit on the big side for me, I didn't feel that it felt all that different. So I'm really in two minds about which way to go. I'm now thinking that could I make a slip dress out of this fabric? I know it's not plain, I know it's not satin, but this with this little crop jumper I think is something I would wear and I also think it would be very very me which is the whole point. So I'm in two minds. I have been doing some investigation into different slip dress patterns and some of you have given some really good suggestions and recommendations which I really appreciate and I think on my next video after my next shopping trip I'm going to 
kind of present all the different pattern options that there are, sewing pattern options that there are. But I'm definitely, definitely going to make a slip dress to go with this cropped little jumper. I liked doing, I liked it. I really did like it and I'm really glad I went and tried it on. I would also mention it was over 200 pounds that All Saints combo and the dress was made from polyester. And the crop, little crop jumper was viscose poly, which basically, this is viscose poly. One meter of this fabric, 17 pounds. Anyway, then I've moved on to trousers. I did a pair of pinstripe trousers because I like the pinstripes um, and they were a little bit on the big side for me but they were to all intents and purposes exactly the same as the pinstripe trousers or the wide leg patterns that we've been looking at, the Bella Loves Patterns Billy, the Mitchell trousers, the Vicky Sews ones, I think they were called Karen trousers. Basically exactly the same design. These trousers were over £300 and they felt divine and I had looked to see what the fabric was and it was 100% wool flannel. Um, ridiculously long in the leg. I mean, I'm five foot seven, I had to turn it up. But anyway, um, really loved how it felt. So whilst I don't think I have the budget to be spending over £300 on a pair of trousers, I am definitely going to be looking out for some 100% wool flannel fabric because it felt lovely and it didn't feel like it would be the sort of flannel fabric that pills which is what slightly puts me off flannel because I don't want to make a pair of trousers that then look like a bobbly old pair of pyjamas after a while. Anyway then I tried on a pair from one of the French fashion brands they were quite pricey too because on the hanger, I really thought they looked quite interesting. They had a fly front and they had all the kind of suity tailored trouser details, but they had a drawstring and then at the back was elasticated. And I thought that looked really interesting. Tried them on, I think they were okay, but once I actually tried them on, I thought they were a bit <sighs> meh. Neither one thing nor the other. So. I got really excited when I saw them on the hanger, but trying them on, I was like, nah, not that exciting after all. And then lastly, I tried on a pair of wide leg trousers. You, you know I seem to be drawn to the wide leg trousers at the moment. These were from Reese, and they had a white side stripe down the side and an elasticated waist, super kind of casual looking, somewhere between loungewear and smart. They were really, really nice. Um, they felt lovely to wear. It was a bit of a colour blocking overload because I happened to be wearing a colour blocked jumper as well. And I don't think I necessarily would want to make them with the side stripe, but it was just the overall silhouette and how they were. And I really, really loved them. Um, the centre front, where you'd have the fold on the centre front, that had been top stitched down. That was a nice detail. I really want to replicate these and again when I look at sewing patterns next week I'm going to come up with some to do that with. Interestingly that fabric was also 100% polyester but it didn't feel like it, it felt really nice. It had a it was like a sort of twill or a herringbone but it had drape to it, it was really really nice. Anyway it was just interesting, I really enjoyed going and doing it. I have to say if you're in the UK John Lewis on a Wednesday morning in the women's department was full of women of my age being super friendly. I mean, some were in pairs and in groups with friends, but I must have had about four or five conversations with women where you'd be standing looking at something and somebody would say, oh, that colour would really suit you. Or, oh yes, I was looking at that. And a long conversation with a woman at the All, All Saints concession who was saying how much she loved All Saints and it really did have a nice feeling of sort of female camaraderie about it. Honestly I, I can't tell you how nice it was. I went on my own, I didn't go with any friends or anything but it felt very friendly and yeah anyway I enjoyed it. So next week off to some other shops and I will report back with findings and pattern suggestions. 
So that is me done for this week. Don't forget the Serious Lights discount code. It'll all be linked below, but it is SR415 for a hundred pounds discount off the HD lights, free delivery in the UK. Yeah. Let me know if you get one and how you get on with it. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.